Police Powers and Rights of the Suspect. I'm going to talk now about some aspects of the investigation stage of criminal proceedings. In this tutorial, we'll look in detail at the role of the custody officer, the detention time limits, and some of the fundamental rights of the suspect whilst in police detention. There's a separate tutorial which looks at the interview, the right to silence and identification procedures. In the main, a suspect's detention at the police station is governed by the provisions of the Police and Criminal Evidence Act 1984, which is known as PACE, and its accompanying codes of practice, both of which I'll refer to throughout this tutorial. The role of the custody officer. The custody officer has responsibility for ensuring that a suspect's detention is carried out in accordance with the provisions of PACE. Once arrested, a suspect must be brought before a custody officer as soon as practicable in accordance with Code C, paragraph 2.1a. The custody officer must not be involved in the investigation for which the suspect is detained and is therefore distinct from the investigating officer or officer in the case who will be the officer with overall charge of the investigation. The procedure that the custody officer must follow when the suspect arrives at the police station is governed by section 37 of PACE and is known as the booking in process. Initially, the custody officer should open a custody record, which is a written document which records key information about the suspect, including name, address, date of birth, occupation, etc. The offence for which the suspect is under arrest, the grounds for arrest and why it was necessary. The time of arrest and time of arrival at the police station. Confirmation that the suspect has been informed of their rights whilst at the police station and whether the suspect has requested legal advice. 